today's video, I'm going to demonstrate a very simple method of solving issues with your inverter where it's not performing the way it was programmed to. I'm talking about the factory default reset. Now this method is not always going to help you or work in every instance. However, in my experience, I've always had luck with it. It's worked with the Crowat, it's worked with the tire, it's worked with the Sunsync, it has worked with the Lux Power. In this example today, I'm going to show you how I did it using the Sunsync inverter. The problem with the Sunsync was the time of use settings that were not performing the way they were meant to. So without further ado, let's get to it. I must mention that Sunsync inverters are usually very reliable. But the problem I had with this particular unit was that the settings applied in system mode 2 was not working as programmed. The unit had time of use settings for the full 24 hours with varying SOCs for each time slot, but the inverter was ignoring these settings. Despite altering settings, it would not resolve until we decided to reset the inverter to factory defaults. Now this can be done on any inverter, although the process may vary, but it is something you should definitely try before resorting to an assessment and repair. So here is the problem that we were having. As you can see, all grid power is going to the load and the solar is keeping the battery charged and powering the inverter. So we would only get a maximum of 110 or 120 watts of solar throughout the entire day. Now what you wanna do is go to the settings page by clicking on the, on the gear icon on the top right of the screen. Once there, you select basic settings, which will bring you to this screen. Now you see that there are three tabs there, time, display, and reset. So what we wanna do is go to the reset tab. And that's what we look, what, what we are looking at. You will see that there's a selection there for factory reset, so system self-check, test mode, lock out all changes. So what we want to do is select the factory reset and then click OK, which will bring you to a password screen. Now the password for factory reset is 9999 and then select OK. And the inverter will shut down and re reboot. And once it reboots, you probably will have a beeping sound because the battery is not configured. Now the next thing you want to do is go to the battery setup page and set up your battery. You should have kept details of these settings before doing the reset. So if you have a lithium battery, you'll be selecting lithium and CAN port and then press OK. And that should solve the beeping problem. Now that you have done that, you can go back to the basic setup and set your time and display settings. Next, you can go back to system mode and at system one, you can set up your time of use settings exactly the way you want with your SOCs, power, grid charging, and whether you have a generator to charge or not. You can set these up here, and then you can go to system mode two and set up the way you want your solar export functions to be set. Now have a look at the power flow diagram after we've done the factory reset. So we've got 1199, watts of power coming from solar. We've got 666 going to the battery, 433 from the grid and 1277 to the load. Comparing this to the time of use settings that we had applied, it's working exactly as it was meant to work. So this has solved the problem and we didn't have to book the inverter in for repair. So you can simply solve your inverter problem just by trying this simple method it's quick and easy as long as you keep a record of the settings that you previously had before you apply the factory reset. You should be good to go. Here is a quick recap of the steps you need to take. First, note all your settings before you do the reset. Number two, go to basic settings, reset, factory reset, and input the code 9999. Number three, Set up your battery after the reboot to stop the errors or, or beeps. Number four, configure basic settings, time and display. Number five, configure system mode one, time of use. And number six, configure system mode two, export settings. So there you have it. You can solve simple software related issues with your inverter by simply doing a factory reset. If you found this video helpful, 
please give it a like and subscribe to my channel so you can catch my future guides. Thanks for watching. Thank you.